Good day, students. I'll be your biology teacher for today. And our topic for today's lesson is ecology of populations. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to state what you understand by the term succession, distinguish between primary and secondary succession, describe a series of changes which often culminate in a stable ecosystem, discover a definite sequence of plant colonization, describe the characteristics of a stable community and recognize the climax of succession, define the term overcrowding, state factors that may cause overcrowding, state the effects of overcrowding, state measures adopted in nature to avoid overcrowding. Ecology of populations. Changes occur in plant and animal populations of a habitat, which could be seasonal changes, which are part of a cycle that is repeated every year, or could be long-term changes which are non-cyclic. Focusing on the long-term changes, we'll be discussing ecological succession. What is ecological succession? It is a gradual and orderly series of changes occurring in plant and animal or microbial communities over a period of time, resulting in the establishment of a final, stable, and climax community. Succession usually commences in a newly formed open or barren habitat or abandoned farmland, which is usually as a result of human activities or natural disasters or catastrophes. The first living organisms on a bare plot of land are the pioneers. Example, algae, mosses, lichens. As the pioneers live and die, they add nutrients to the soil. This creates conditions that are more favorable to other plants and lower animals. Example, fens, herbs, insects, worms, which could not live there before. As they also live and die, their remains improve the soil conditions further. And so, perennial herbs or grasses and other animals, example, Lizards, snakes, toads, rats are able to live there. Subsequently, a point is reached at which the soil can support the growth of taller trees and higher animals. Example, birds, various mammals. At this stage, a climax community is established which is in equilibrium with the environment. The initial pace of a succession is rapid, but it gradually slows down until a final or stable or climax community is reached. What is a climax community? It is an ecological community in which populations of plants or animals remain stable and exist in balance with each other and their environment. It is the final stage of succession. Types of climax communities. Edaphic, biotic, fire, topographic, climatic communities. Characteristics of ecological succession of plants. 1. Ecological succession of plants takes place in a newly formed open habitat barren area or land. 2. Successional changes are orderly and they develop in a certain sequence. 3. Pioneer or earliest colonizers are hardy with short life cycle and are replaced by small herbaceous plants. 4. The rate of successional change is rapid initially but gradually it slows down until the final climax or stable community is reached. 
We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back, students. We will continue from where we stopped. Five, the number of serial communities depends on minor differences in edaphic, topographic, or other local conditions. Six, succession occurs over a period of time. Seven, the earliest colonizers are usually very few species. Eight, during their life, the pioneers make extensive use of the material in their environment to a point of depletion. Nine, death of the pioneer communities adds some organic matter to the soil environment and favors the establishment of new species. Types of succession. Ecologists usually identify two types of succession, and they are primary succession, secondary succession. Primary succession. The occupation by plants of an area not previously covered by vegetation is known as primary succession. Bare rocks and cliffs are common sites of primary succession. The first stage in such an area is the formation of soil. The solid rocks are broken down by weathering processes. Once the rocks disintegrate and soil is formed, bacteria, fungi, algae, and lichen inhabit the soil. These organisms are called pioneers. Pioneers die and their death adds some organic matter to the soil. Algae and mosses now inhabit the soil. Mosses and algae die, adding more humors to the soil. Ferns and grasses now inhabit the soil. These ferns and grasses further break down the soil and more humors added. Shrubs move in and eventually trees. At this stage, a dominant species of tree takes over the population, making the environment suitable for itself and unsuitable for other species. Tall trees, for example, cast shade for smaller plants. Those plants which are shade-loving thrive well, while those that do not like shade die off. The stage of tall and shady trees is regarded as climax community. Primary succession can also take place in aquatic habitat. Example, a pond. At first, the pond is only a basin of water. Microscopic plants and animals, such as bacteria, algae, and protozoa, soon inhabit the water. These are pioneers. Seeds of plants and eggs of aquatic animals are brought to the pond by the feet of visiting birds. Some insects fly to the pond and some animals travel to the water. The pond starts supporting hydroids, mollusks, fish, amphibians, and aquatic reptiles. Submerged plants and floating plants begin to grow in the pond. The edge of the pond is inhabited by plants. This is the submerged and floating vegetation stage. The death of some plants and animals starts building up organic matter in the bottom of the pond and around the edges of the pond. The pond now gets smaller and shallower. Terrestrial plants begin to grow towards the center of the pond as organic matter builds up. Various mammals and birds visit the edges of the pond. This is the temporary pond stage. Finally, the old pond is filled with organic matter. Shrubs and trees appear and eventually a forest stage, climax stage is reached.
Students, carry out the following activity based on what we've learned so far on primary succession. Arrange the following words in sequential order. Ferns and grasses, tall trees, rocks, bacteria, algae, mosses, lichen, soil. We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back, students. We'll continue from where we stopped. Secondary succession. Secondary succession occurs when a community develops in a habitat from which another community had previously been removed. Example, a cultivated savanna, forest, or an abandoned farmland. Secondary succession is usually faster than primary succession because some organisms or their reproductive parts, example, seeds, spores, storage organs or larvae, are already present in the soil, provided the soil is not removed completely. The following is an example of secondary succession by stages. One. A stable deciduous forest community. Two, a disturbance such as wildfire destroys the forest. Three, the fire burns the forest to the ground. Four, the fire leaves behind empty but not destroyed soil. Five, grasses and other herbaceous plants grow back first. Six, Small bushes and trees begin to colonize the area. 7. Fast-growing evergreen trees develop to their fullest, while shade-tolerant trees develop in the understory. 8. The short-lived and shade-tolerant evergreen trees die as the larger deciduous trees overtop them. The ecosystem is now back to a similar stage to where it began. Characteristics of a stable community. 1. The vegetation of the climax community will have high ecological amplitude. 2. They possess high tolerance towards the environmental conditions. 3. They show rich diversity in species composition. 4. The species composition remains constant for many years. 5. The community possesses a complex food chain system. Relationship between competition and succession. Competition is a biological interaction or struggle between organisms of the same species, intraspecific, or different species, interspecific for the same resources of food, water, space, light, suitable temperature or warmth, mates, soil, which are in limited or in scarce supply. Competition speeds up succession. No competition, no succession. While succession provides basis for competition. Overcrowding. It is a situation which occurs when a population in a given habitat increases beyond a point where the resources in the habitat, such as space and food, are not enough to support all the individuals in the population. Factors that may cause overcrowding. The following factors may cause overcrowding. Increase in birth rate, natality. Increase in food supply. Decrease in death rate, mortality. Immigration. Lack of dispersal. Social habits. Inadequate space. Absence of predators. Effect of overcrowding. Shortage of space. Shortage of food. Competition. Antisocial behavior. Spread of diseases. Preying on each other death of organisms, adaptation to avoid overcrowding, territorial behavior, 
the parcels of fruits and seeds, emigration, swarming, a little party, production of canopies by tall plants. Students, answer the following questions. What do you understand by the word succession in ecology? State two types of succession and distinguish between them. Describe the characteristics of ecological succession in plants. What is a climax community? What is overcrowding? References. Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination Past Questions and Answers for WAEC. 2. www.britannica.com Bye-bye, students.